And in this video, it's our solar harvesting data for February 2023. And this is a quick and very simplified overview of the system that we've got. So here I am sharing our experience of living with solar panels and a battery backup system in our lives with you, you lucky buggers. Now, this is the end of another full month. So our solar generation for February 2023 was 217 kilowatt hours. But from this total, I will deduct what we've exported back to the grid because as of yet, we're still not getting paid for any of this. So I don't think it's fair to include this in the calculations with all the facts and figures. So the actual total that we've consumed in the house from February's solar generation was actually 183 kilowatt hours. And this graph shows every single day of the month. Now, the green bars indicate the solar generation that we've used in the house at the time of production. The red bars are showing us what we've exported on those days. And the blue bars, that indicates what we've stored in the battery. And the Give Energy battery that we have has a 9.5 kilowatt hour capacity. Now that might sound like that's pretty good. It's not bad to be honest. But what we are finding, and this almost goes without saying, we're finding it difficult to get to that 100% capacity on pretty much any day of this month. So combined with the fact that we're obviously using the generation as it's happening in the house, and also the fact of this time of year, yeah, the solar performance is not going to be particularly fantastic, is it? And if I show you just a few examples of the days that I'm talking about, it starts on the 1st with 4.8 kilowatt hours going into the battery. But on the 2nd, we can only manage to put in half a kilowatt hour. And then a 4.2, and then, oh, almost a 9 there. And then an 8.6, 5.1. So you get the idea, it does vary quite a bit. But the battery is doing its job reasonably well. I mean, I can't complain when there has been enough reserve capacity put into the battery. It has powered the house throughout the evening and through the night as well. And so here I've made a table. And as you can see, I've put the data from January already in. That was from my previous video. And also now February's data has been put in as well. And you can see last year on February, we used 220 kilowatt hours which cost us £44, and that's the flat rate. And there's no standing charge involved in that value at all. Now, this February, from the grid, we've used just 47 kilowatt hours. That actually cost us £9.40. Now, the solar generation of 183 kilowatt hours has saved us £36.60p. And this is actually quite a good comparison because if you take the 47 and the 183, we do get 230 kilowatt hours. Whereas in comparison, last year, it was 220 kilowatt hours. And to be honest, we're not really letting this rule our lives too much. I mean, we're still going about doing our day-to-day -day activities. Um, we're just enjoying the fact that we are saving money uh, every single day, pretty much. I mean, 47 kilowatt hours, of energy used from the grid for the whole month of February. I mean, yeah, we're very happy with that indeed. Now, when you look down at the bottom right-hand corner there, the £65.60p is the total amount savings for the year. So, if we deduct that from the value of the system that we've bought, which was £11,000, We've got a total of £10,934.40p. So yeah, there's still some way to go to get any kind of return of investment, isn't there? But even if this figure doesn't look that impressive, 
it doesn't matter. We're at the beginning of our journey and we're heading in the right direction. Okay, there you go. There's some of our simple facts and figures for February for you. Anyway, so March is upon us now and things are looking good already. So fingers crossed, we're definitely on the up and up. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. And until next time, make sure you keep on shining.